Hello, I want to make quick video uh, how to set up um, a workspace um, for our embedded workbench. So, first thing to do is to create new project, empty project and ARM project, and we will create um, um, we will create empty folder on the desktop. Let's say test. Also, name will be test. Okay. Okay. Now, second thing to do is uh, add libraries. So, uh, CMCs and uh, standard peripheral library can be downloaded from the STM website. Then we also are going to need the uh, mine uh, and uh, enter up routine and includes uh, includes file for this project configuration file. Okay. So let's add it. Um, now we need to um, add uh, groups. First group will be ever arm uh, for configuration and and um, assembler files. So the device source. So first we need to add this file. It will handle blocks in configuration, and we will also need. Um, uh, uh, especially from our folder, we need the startup file, the assembler file. Okay, uh, one thing to note: uh, we need to match um, um, uh, clock oscillator speed. So I know that I'm have 25 megahertz. Uh, discovery bar will have 8 megahertz. So this one should be changed 8. That's very important. Uh, if you're not going to change that, you will going to have a different clock speed or even it will not going to work because a pillow will be out of range uh, because you will have 500 megahertz uh, clock speed and microprocessor can handle that okay now we need to add um, some dark purple library uh, and add C files and Okay. Uh, one thing to say: we don't need uh, everyone. Let, for this example, um, I will going to show simple GPIO toggle. So I don't need much files. Uh, we all, all I need is um, um, RCC and GPIO. So that will be sufficient to uh, to compile this project. But for still, we can add. Um, and we need to add other files like configuration and, and interrupt. So when you have a minor error, it will go to the, this loop. So it's quite quite important file, but it's not very useful for you. Okay, now we need to link library. First uh, thing to do is set a right correct device. I know that I have an STM thirty two F. Um, um, and this one, um, and uh, need, I need to choose debugger. It will be SD link. I have to choose use flash loader. Also linker. Okay, the linker is everything is all right. And in uh, um, debugger, we need to choose SWD, not JTAG. And let, if you, we can use normal or reset. That's both will work just fine. Uh, reset will is useful when you have um, a JTAG um, line uh, on programming. So it's the only way to program re reprogram microprocessor if you use SVD pins for your normal GPIO. Okay. And we need to link libraries. So first thing to do is use this one. So it will and uh, we need to uh, that is co correct model, and we, we are using standard peripheral library, and we need to we need to link them. So that will be okay. This is the mine folder where your mine file is, and now we need to add libraries. So first library would be um. This one, 
we need to add address from this one. Okay. And also we need a second second line for or have an arm folder. Okay. So let's see where it is. Um device is this one. Okay. We don't need to copy everything, we need to copy just this line. Okay, I think we are ready to go. I don't know. Let's see. It will ask us to save it. So let's save it. And we don't have any errors so far. That's simple code that oh the device is not found. Oh okay. Why is that? Oh JTAG, we need to use SWD. Okay. And everything is running just fine. Uh, now one thing one useful feature is um, let's say we want to use um, some kind of uh, you, you want you want to track uh, some variables let's say uh, let's say uh, int r uh, zero okay and now because uh, because we are we, we are using um, optimization uh, it will not going to add add this line to oh let's let's see if we use any optimization. Okay, let's go to compiler optimization. If we choose none, uh, this will be compiled and this will be incremented, and we we can see that uh, on, on, on the processor is running with a debugging function. Okay, let's let's save it. Um, okay, so we choose view, and we will. Um, uh, out of it, and when we jump uh, through code, we will get every value like R one, R two, R three. Now, if we going to choose some um, optimization, uh, this line will be disabled, and we need and and not compiled to processor, so this line will not exist. And if you want to track uh, uh, variables on the in mine, we need first thing comment like uh, make them global in here, so we can use a live watch. Uh, and now let's see, there is no a. You see, there is no a because a don't have any purpose. So let's let's see, let's make make some purpose. Okay, we will make it global, so we can use live watch, and we will. Simple if uh, um, okay, like this. so now A has a purpose, so it will be compiled and we can view it um, live. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, uh, I want to make a small update. Um, when I said uh, this handles clocks, well, this is a base clock. Um, so we need to match the, the uh, crystal oscillator. But there is the, uh, this, uh, one we all, always forget. Well, I mean, I forget. We need to match the, uh, this, this clock. Now this will it will not uh, your processor will going to run only the settings found in system folder, but if you want to use uh, wart and uh, uh, anything that is very uh, uh, time related like wart, of course we need to know exact uh, frequency to set the baud rate. So this one ha must be matched with your own um, uh, clock. So I'm using 25 megahertz, but uh, STM32 discovery will use uh, 8 MHz. So this must be 8. Uh, and if it's not, 
word will not going for. I mean, it will work, but you will get constant errors. Like instead of getting one character, you will receive two characters and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, just a quick update.